So a lot of people have been asking me to add a mobile support to my M1 combat system. And in this video I'm going to show you how. Usually people say mobile support is really time consuming and hard. But that's not really the case. I'm going to show you how to make it in the most easiest and fastest way possible. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first let's go to M1 client. And do local CTA is equal to game get service context action service this is a special service to make mobile support or just configuring and translating inputs so we're going to need this so now do local function m1 action so basically here we're going to put all our logic to how the m1 will work we're just going to shift this code block into here. So basically this will be our uh, actual logic to making the M1. We're just going to need to adjust this. A so here put action name. Input. And put input name here. So we're just gonna change mouse button one to begin and we'll remove user input type and we're replacing user input type with user input state. So basically what we're saying here is we're creating a function called M1 action to handle the logic of our M1 and we're passing three values into it. Action name, input, and input name. And we're saying here, if the input, if our input is the same as whatever this value is, and the cooldown is false, then continue the line, make cooldown true, add our combo variable by one, here we have set it to zero, play the animation according to the combo number, fire the remote to our server, send it our combo information and if it's and if our combo is four then reset it back to zero and wait for a certain time and turn cooldown false now let's get to the actual assigning inputs part so go down the line and do so do cta colon bind action and m1 act and make, sh make sure it's both and capitalized the same as our function name. To make it easier, let's just copy paste it in. And we'll give it our M1 action and we'll give it the value of true. And we're giving it the input we want this to be triggered by. So that is enum the user input type the mouse button one. So if we click on our with our mouse, then this will be triggered. Now let's do the part where it actually works on mobile. So do CTA set title and do M1 action comma punch. So basically here we're creating our own button. So when the player clicks on the screen, something will happen. So we're saying we want our M1 action to be played when we click. And we're calling this button punch. Now do CTA set position. This is where it's going to be located in our screen. So let's just put our M1 action here. And UDIM2.new. And let's put... Uh, 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 this should be at the very bottom of our screen let's test it out to see if it works you might notice that we're on the PC screen right now PC will PC support will only work here so if you want to switch to testing mobile support go to test device and it will automatically and it will automatically bring you to a mobile device you can change it over here. I'm just gonna keep it as Samsung and 
play here. And I can't find the button. I think I moved it. I think I moved it a bit too much. Let's just change one to 0.5. Okay, now let's test. Okay, we have our punch button. And the script works. If you want to change the position, just change the values over here. Oh, by the way, if you don't have a rig to test on, go to Avatar, Rig Builder, select your rig type, choose a block avatar. And yeah, you got a little character here which you can test on. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye!